Today I'm going to be doing a bronze and gold smoky eye and I'm also going to be making my skin very bronzy and glowy as well. I think this look is perfect for summer. So first I'm going in with this NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and I'm applying that with a damp beauty blender. Actually, I prefer the way this foundation looks when it's applied with a makeup brush, so that's something to just keep in mind if you do try this. But this foundation is awesome for girls with oily skin. It keeps you matte, but it still gives you that luminous glow that we all want. Now I'm going in with two different concealers. The first one, I believe, is the Maybelline Under Eye Corrector, and it's in the brightening color just to combat some of the dark circles I had going on. And then I'm putting my Urban Decay Concealer over that, and again, going in with my Damp Beauty Blender and just blending it all out. And when you're doing this, I do recommend tapping all of it out and like bouncing the sponge on your face instead of swiping because then it will move the concealer and you don't want that. Next, I'm going in with my e.l.f. translucent powder and dusting that all over my face just to set everything so it won't go anywhere all day. Now I'm going in with my bronzer from The Balm. And this is a very shimmery bronzer as you can tell and I don't typically like this for like a day-to-day -day look but for this look I love it because it really gives you that bronze glow. Next, going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder and my new Morphe brush that I am loving for contouring. I'll put all of the brushes I use down below um, but I'm just using that middle kind of ashy neutral shade and contouring my cheekbones and underneath my jawline. Now I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush by make, or Morphe actually and I'm going to contour my nose a little bit too just because it was looking a little washed out with all of the concealer. Now I'm going to be doing my brows. This is the It Cosmetic Universal Brow Pencil and the color is called Universal. And so I'm just going to pencil those in and fill them in with this. editing now both of my brows are done so now I'm going in with this Mary Kay blush in golden copper and when I first saw this it was super intimidating but this color is so beautiful it makes you look so tan and golden and glowy so if you haven't checked that out I would definitely try that one now I'm going in with not one but two highlighters First, the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Sandstone, and then my Becca Cosmetics in Champagne Pop. Putting that on the high points of the face just to show all that glow. Now I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown Eyeshadow in Camel, and I'm just putting that all through the crease and blending it out as our transition shade. Now I'm going in with that chocolatey brown color from Makeup Forever and putting that a little bit lower into the crease and blending like crazy. And more dancing and singing. I apologize guys, I was rocking out today. Now I'm going in with my Too Faced, I believe it's the Neutrals or the Naturals palette and there's like a bronze shade in there and I'm just using that to put in the crease as well. And now I'm going in with the golden shade and just putting that all over the lid with my finger. And going back in with my blending brush and just blending out any harsh lines with no additional product. 
Now I'm going back into that chocolatey shade by Makeup Forever and just deepening the crease a little bit, trying to make our eyes stand out a little more, and of course, more singing and rocking out. Now I'm going in with this dark brown kind of neutral shade and I'm using a Makeup Geek pencil brush to apply this just on the outer corners of the eyes just to really kind of add like a cat eye effect to this look and kind of turn our eyes up and make them look more open. And you can go in and add more color and deepen it up as you like. I was trying to go a little more dramatic today. And then going in with a Makeup Geek crease brush, I think it's the pointy crease brush, and then just blending it out because it was looking a little harsh. And then since we lost a little of the gold shade, I'm going to go ahead and put some more of that on the lids. Then going back into Becca Cosmetics highlighter and popping that on the brow bone and the inner corners. Then just putting that Rimmel pencil in my waterline. Then of course going back into that chocolatey brown shade from Makeup Forever and blending that under the lower lash line. Now for some eyeliner, I'm just going in with my MAC eyeliner and I believe that's in Coco Riche or something and putting that on the top and then smudging it out. Then going in with this nude lip liner by I believe it's Essence. It was only a couple bucks from Ulta, but it's a really, really good neutral lip liner. Then going in with my NYX lip crown and then just putting that all over and topping it off with Gerard Cosmetics and Coral Craze. I just think it really complements the bronzy tones we have going on on the face. Then curling our lashes and I'm popping on Maybelline the Rocket Mascara just to prepare my lashes for some falsies. Now I'm just going in with my Lena Lashes and Cindy. I'm popping those on. I apologize that I ran out of footage, but here is the finished look. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.